Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Watch from MW Technology. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're doing an unboxing of the PlayStation 5 Pro. So uh, this just came out. I just got it in the mail and uh, we're going to see what comes inside the box. So let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and open up this seal over here. And overall, the size of the box is very similar to the original fat PlayStation 5. So I'm just going to slide the box out. Here's what the inner box looks like. That's what it looks like inside. So we should be able to just slide this puppy out. And before we get into the console itself, let's see what else comes inside. Now what comes inside the box is uh, basically a safety guide. And uh, I believe on page nine, you can actually see how, how to install your M.2 SSD drive. And uh, the other paperwork is this colored quick start guide. So just, just general information on how to set this thing up in terms of connectivity and everything like that. Okay, so at the bottom we have three compartments. One is for the controller itself. Looks like a standard PS5 controller. Then we have a two-prong US or North American style power connection, as well as an HDMI connection. So. I still see an HDMI connection over there, as well as a uh, USB to USB-C cable right over here. Now coming back to the main thing at hand, which is the PS5 Pro console itself. Nice packing material. And there she is. Uh, feels very similar to the OG fat PlayStation 5. So in terms of connectivity, you have two USB-C connections right there, a power connection. There's no optical drive, as we mentioned earlier. And at the back, the IO is HDMI, a uh, LAN connection, two USB type A, uh, 10 gigabits a second, I believe, and then uh, the two prong power connection. Still built in power supply. And then the only real difference is this kind of three line rib design over here uh, compared to the original PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 Slim. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all these covers over here. So top, bottom. Snap off pretty easily. And uh, okay, so at the bottom is really the business end in terms of expandability. Uh, this is where you would install your optical drive over here. And uh, over here is the M.2 slot. Let's go ahead and open that up and see what that looks like. Okay, so once you remove that cover, basically the slot of, for the M.2 is just this way in terms of the pins. And then you could fit the full size connection or smaller M.2 drive, depending upon what you have. So that's pretty easy and quite similar to the original. What is this? Okay, and over here you have a CR2032 three volt cell if you need to replace that or service that for whatever reason. On the other side, I don't really see any other expandable options or anything like that but uh, really on the back side is where you're gonna do any kind of customization. Uh, these are obviously very similar to the original PlayStation 5 plates and uh, you can easily skin these, wrap these, or even replace them if you need to. So that's nice to see. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing and initial impressions. We're gonna be doing a couple of videos with the PS5 Pro. We're gonna be comparing it directly against the original PS5 in terms of 4K 60 FPS gaming capabilities, as well as the hardware differences. And we're gonna be comparing it against a uh, modern contemporary gaming PC that you can get for around the thousand dollar mark. So definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel and to have liked this video, have post notifications turned on, and we'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.